Hello, and this is why I hate the Undertale fan base. Now, keep this in mind. I'm talking about the fan base, and I'm not the entire fan base. Just a lot of the and the majority of fan base that I have seen, and this isn't it. And this doesn't apply to everybody in the fa in the Undertale fan base, and it doesn't apply to the game at all. In fact, I quite like the game. The only thing that I can say that I don't like the game is that it's, it's visually boring. Anyway, um. Fan bases have always been a bit stupid and crazy and full of little children, millennials. Uh, but what makes Undertale so bad that I had to talk out about it? Well, there's only so there's only something that recently came to my attention. Um, the Undertale fan base has been compared to the FNAF fan base quite a bit. The main fan base is your millennials. Most of the fan base probably hasn't even played the game. They make a lot of fan art. Um, and that's just scratching the surface of how they're very similar. I think Mapai even made some more points. But um, the Undertale fan, uh, not Undertale, the FNAF fan base. Um, after more information came out, they didn't go back to Matt Pat's old video and be like, "No fucking stupid moron, piece of shit, completely wrong by comparing FNAF to this actual thing that happened in real life." Ha ha, we're a moron. Where, where the Undertale fan base went back to Matt Pat's uh, Undertale theory, which. Again, like just like all his theories, he never claims they're a hundred percent true, and never claims that they are canon within uh, the uh, games. But only brings up canon evidence that supports his theories. They went back after um, after um, Toby Fox had uh, yeah, and basically shot this shot his theory down about um, Ness and uh, Sans being. Uh, the same person, and uh, uh, it was a really good theory. I've seen it, it was really good. And uh, uh, if uh, if it did turn out that Sans was Ness, or at least to avoid copyright problems, um, a Ness like character, then it wouldn't be out of the blue, and it'd just be like, yeah, that's actually pretty cool. A little reference to. Um, Mother there, or um, Earthbound, as the Western knows, as most people know here in the West. Um, but the Undertale fan base went to too far, and they just completely flagged, you know, just went out of their way to uh, just send a load of spite and hate towards Matt Pat on this video. For what? They literally get nothing out of this. He only knows the theory's wrong. He never claimed that it was right. You know, like I said, he never claimed it was right. He never claimed it was, um, you know, canon, uh, canon in the game's law. So, and they're not being paid to do this. They don't get anything out of it. And being as I doubt he would even reply to most of them, if any of them, they're not even uh, like getting the. Uh, um, trolling aspect out of it because the whole point of of trolling is uh, to uh, see is to get someone's over the top reaction. So what do they get out of this? Nothing. And then came Matt when Matt Pad made a video about him giving Undertale to the Pope, which was really fitting because that year was the Pope's year of uh, mercy um, and a whole thing of uh, Undertale being mercy or genocide um, or pas was it mercy or pacifist one of those two um, that was the year of the Pope's thing so it was really um, it was it was really smart that I gave him it um, and uh, you know it and that he just gave this whole story about um, unity and uh, everything and it's just like then they flagged that to hell it's just like what the fuck are you even doing this is like 
if somebody makes a bad theory, okay, I've made uh, made videos debunking bad theories before, like um, the one where uh, someone claimed that, uh, that in Steven Universe, Connie is a is a um, gem. Um, yeah, I I like I don't uh, if you can uh, use uh, you know uh, uh, fair and reasoned arguments like I did. Yeah, I don't mind doing that, but when you start calling people stupid, fucking retarded pieces of shit. That's when I uh, stop you, because um, in the debating and stuff and all of that, there uh, there's um, I think there's five rules, and one of them is attack the idea and not the person. And once you start attacking the person, that's when you will lose all respect from uh, your peers in the. Uh, when you're debating, unless your peers are absolute pieces of shit who can't come up with a competent argument to save their life. So ultimately, by calling someone a fucktard, you aren't winning any arguments. It's just like, uh, you're just, it's, you, you're not going to win any arguments. It's, if, if winning an argument was just going at someone and just like, you're stupid, then nobody would ever be able to win any argument because then it would just be, you're stupid there, and then it would just be going back and forth. There are people calling each other stupid. That is not how democracy works. That is not how theories work. That is not how anything works, apart from stupid millennials' brains. And yes, I, yes, I have called them stupid, and ignorant, and so on. But, you know. It's just like, they don't have an argument, so what else do you expect me to do? Just uh, stand, just sit there and just be like, meh, don't care, they're calling, they uh, may, uh, they have single-handedly made Matt Pat nervous to make an Undertale video, so much so that he p postponed it, uh, um, his, uh, who is uh, Dr. Gaster, Gaster's, uh, theory for how long now it's just like when you do that I lose all respect for you or anything like that and I will uh, and uh, do you lose you know any sort of protection from me just not going for not calling you names because it's like yes I have been been called names in debates before and that I have just been I like, uh, don't care and just continue debating logically. Um, but it's just like when you. This is uh, not just the occasional being called a racist, misogynist, sexist on Facebook. This is hundreds of people spamming one person, one person for doing his job. Or not even his. Well. Not even just for doing his job, just for like spreading the message of hope. It's just like this is just stupid, and that's why I hate. You. And now I've never hated any fan base. I, uh, I've, I'm not too keen on the FNAF fan base, uh, Minecraft fan base. Uh, I'm not too keen on. Uh, because they, because they, but the, the thing they both have in common is that they're very protective of um, Minecraft and the FNAF, respectively. But Undertale fans are just like s savage dogs that just attack anything they see. And yes, this uh, just uh, by me uh, criticizing get the people who like Undertale some of the people who like on the tail, this is probably going to be flagged to all buggery, even though I'm a very small YouTube channel. Well, fuck it. I'm not going to sit here and pretend everything's all right when people are spamming uh, content creators uh, with uh, uh, with uh, just a load with loads of just like shit uh, and, uh, uh, and uh, they're making them afraid to even make a video on that subject. So like, I don't care what subject that is. It could be um, uh, supporting Nazism or whatever. It could be the worst possible thing you could imagine. But as soon as you uh, bully them into being silent, that's when I will stop you. Because 
if your standpoint is, you know, reasoned and uh, the logical, then you do not need to resort to bullying, naming, or, uh, name calling, or anything like that to uh, silence other people's opinions. You, you, if you, if you have a valid argument, you use logical reasoning and uh, the, you know, evidence to persuade them to think differently. I know it doesn't always work, and there's always uh, just like going to be people who are out there who disagree with you. So fucking wild. That's reality. Grow the fuck up. And it's just like the as soon as uh, they they find out that you know his theory was wrong, they just attack him. And he tries to spread a message of hope and peace. They attack him. And now they're probably attacking him for the um, WD gas the video. And it's just like, I haven't checked it, but it's just like, I don't need to. If it's gone so this bad, then somebody should have spoke out about it sooner. And if I had known about this sooner, I would have spoken out about it a lot sooner. Because I don't go through comments section, I'm not stupid, I only go in there to like, leave my opinion or, uh, or um, criticise a theory if, that, if my criticism isn't big enough to sustain an entire video. Because um, I'm not good with spelling, so, so it gets a bit muddled up sometimes when I type, so that's why I prefer to make video responses to things. So yeah, that, long story short they uh, they just attack people for no gain or no real reason and that's why I hate the majority of Undertale the Undertale fan base bye bye